Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 101 of A Brew With You. I'm one of your hosts, Blake Michael, accompanied by the meat and cheese connoisseur, <laughs> Jeff Stewart. I've had so much meat and cheese the past four days. <laughs> That's right. It's, we I'm, have been to Wisconsin, the land of meat and cheese and beer. I'm not proud of it. I'm proud. I'm very proud of you. We went to the Cheese Castle. Yeah, Mars Cheese Castle. I um, First time for you. First time. I was, what? I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, oh, I was going to say something dirty right there. But I'll say it anyway. I popped my cheese cherry right you there. You did. You did. And um, <laughs> it was... Your cheese curd? My che- <laughs> 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 See, that's when we look at the camera now. Like, huh? <laughs> there we go. Good. Well, uh, we've got some jokes already cracking up. So let's... <laughs> not me. Uh, uh, allow me to introduce the first time on the show, the Kentucky girl herself, the wild cat. <laughs> the... The... The, the drinker of mint tulips, yes. Kate Adams. Welcome to the show. Hi, welcome, everyone. Welcome. It's Hello. been a long time in the making. <laughs> welcome to like the the over the century mark. Yeah, yeah the 101. This is, this is the, the, the first of like all this this hype and build up to 100. Now it's like, let's start this momentum now. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. better way to start momentum with like a lot of energy? You got a lot of energy, Kate, and I love that. Me? Oh, yeah. Never. <laughs> we're going we're to give you a one-on-one of podcasting right now. Get it? Because it's like a oh, classroom, the one on one. That's when we look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. I'm out. One on one. It sounds like we're in zip code territory now. Like yeah. the first, you know, like we're uh, the, the first hundred. Yeah, the six oh six. The one. We're in the one on one right yeah. now. I don't know where that is in the country. That's <laughs> a hi- that's a highway in California. You, is it? The oh, one, you a, took the one on one of the two hundred two. Oh god. Speaking of California, <laughs> I found out today that I'm going on my first business trip oh, ever. Cool. Ooh. And it's to Southern California. You're nice. a big boy. I know. Like, I had to work on like getting reimbursed for money and stuff. Like, oh wow, I can spend and you know not lose money. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to a trade show. I'm doing mm. trade show stuff. Good old San Diego. I don't know. It's just they just told me SoCal right now. I'm like, eh, that sounds that sounds rad. It sounds right, early. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. totally. It's not getting hit by hurricanes. It sounds fine by me. You don't know? forget just your board. Fires, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of forest fires, see, this is how the show works. He just. You pop something in my head. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll with it. Yeah. Um, started a four-part series on Netflix. Can't remember the name of the show right now. It's something to do with firefighters. Stormwell. Fire. It's fire stoppers. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's like it's the hot new thing. Netflix. It's like a four-part documentary series. Not bad. One guy on the show was like really, really good. He was like, think about it like the military you know, when you talk about the bro, like, why'd you join the military? Because I get to blow shit up. You know, <laughs> like, I get to carry big guns and drive tanks and kaboom. <laughs> this guy was talking about that for his fires. You know, there's, we get to ride in a chopper. How awesome is that? I'm like, you're trying to prevent death right now, Mr. Yeah. Fireman. Is it, is it a reality <laughs> it show? Pretty good. It was pretty good. They, they were showing a lot of like real time of fire. And you know, because California is just getting scorched right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, pretty, it's, it's pretty insane. Is it a reality show or like a drama? Both? It's like a reality show. Okay. It's it's yeah, like documentary style. Well, not documentary. Yeah, it's like a reality show, Docu- but it's like a four series. part. Doc- Let's see what's mm-hmm. up. This is why mm-hmm. you know you're the guest right now to help me with my. <laughs> I am not talking today. Yeah. Words. I just use up all the words for 100 episodes. <laughs> now it's just. Like, it's a good night, Kate. It's bad. Dude. That's great. Kind of a long day. That's fine though. Not and a bad day. Just a long day. Dad, on difference. top of the fire stuff, just real quick. I'm actually. Looking to join a ten-week fireman program this no fall. Shit. Yeah, are it's you gonna be a volunteer firefighter? Kind of. So yes. it's like my dream job. Like I've always wanted to be a fireman. Really? Is the re- is this really for uh, your girl? Is no, this really for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do get to bring home like, the equipment. Oh, <laughs> watching Chicago yeah. Fire, yeah. Jeff's yeah. like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, wait. Blake's a gonna hire. He's, uh, Jeff's gonna hire me for um, <laughs> uh, photography work for the calendar edition, yeah, the 2018 right? uh, yeah. calendar yeah. from the Jeff. Kiddies. The classes are to, are at a strip club. It's oh, just all, it's just a male strip club dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's how to take off the jacket and boots without right. falling over, and without being That's burned. Cool, it That's is skill. Yeah, it takes. You've ever seen Magic Mike? So wait, when are you start for real though? You really starting this? I just signed up for it actually today some because i've always wanted to do something like that and a yeah. friend told me at work saying evanston because that's where i work at um has a program it's a 10-week program mm-hmm. 
two days, one day a week, Thursday nights is a classroom, and then like three weekends, you like go like on the truck with them and do all like the shit that they do. And that's awesome. But it's like you learn the CPR, so it's both classroom and action for ten weeks. Oh, that's fantastic! Because I know, like, I know, and it's, it's free. So I know it's extremely not? difficult. Yeah. Well, I know, yeah, because I know the fire departments do a lot of free services in terms of if you have a fire extinguisher in your house, they'll fill it up for free for you mm-hmm. or something yeah. like that. But the 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 the, I know to become a firefighter in Chicago is ridiculously hard just because the waiting list is just, I'm mean, oh, talking sure. about years. Everywhere years. is pretty difficult. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, know a couple of friends that waited like three or four years just to become on a squad. Question yeah. for you. Answer. When you were a kid, was the thought of ever becoming a cop or a firefighter in your head? Every more? day. I, I Which still, one? Firefighter. Me too. Yeah. Me yeah. too. I'd rather fight fires than crime. I <laughs> still think both professions are like, like my dream job. I would love just to be like outside every day and doing that shit. Yeah. Would love it. Okay. For you. Yeah. That's like a, how can we do a female equivalent? Because let's get real back in the day. It wasn't like the days we are today. Like, you know, I can grow up to be anything. You could say like for a, for a boy. Like we're 85 years old. <laughs> Times are moving so fast right 1936. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel, I don't even know, like, uh, I don't want to even get into like the things I read now. On the sure. Internet. It's yeah, just no. so like, what, where, what time are we living in now? Uh, I don't even go. I'll digress. But so, to so answer like, your question, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Um, I would say, I don't know, probably like. A ballet dancer. Yeah, I can or see that. A dancer. Yeah. Like a, a riding horses. Yeah, a horses. Yeah. A, an equestrian. <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> no, this is not how you ride a horse. Yeah. If you could break down. If you could break down. I'm right. sorry, Kentucky. Yeah. I just discredited <laughs> everything in my home state. They're like, so what is she sorry. doing? <laughs> if you could break down, like, the top three professions for a boy growing up and then for a girl. Mm-hmm. Or, like, things they would want to be inspired. I mm-hmm. would say, like, firefighter or Ash Cop would have to be one. I don't know if you could yeah. put either one of them on there. Maybe pilot. I Maybe would say, pilot. like, a train conductor. Little boys are yeah, obsessed train with conductor. trains. Good what, the, what is that? Even just farming. They love, like, the tractors and that's, stuff like that. Race car thing? drivers. Race car drivers. Like, but wait, the, I... So growing up in the South, I don't know like what's real, what's, you know, just because I grew up on a just farm. Just because you grew up in the here. South, yeah. you know real? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, I was literally talking to one of my friends today and I was like, you know, saying what my dad says or something. And I was like, I make my parents sound like they're their first, <laughs> first generation immigrants. Because <laughs> 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 like uh, they uh, have the accent. <laughs> they, they don't understand what the city yeah. is. The thing that I was talking about was my dad's favorite thing to ask me is, you know, how, Kate, how? Caterpud, how uh, oh, Caterpud? Yeah. <laughs> Caterpud, how long did it take you to get to work today? I'm like, well, Dad, I don't know, like 20 minutes or so. He goes, how many miles did it take you? <laughs> and he was like, probably like three. <laughs> Caterpud, I don't know how you do it. I just don't know. Every time, yeah, every, that's so good. How long did it take? And then immediately, how many miles was that's it? So good. Yeah. I yeah. So, but Caterpud, pa. When you're going three miles where you're at, what are you seeing the whole time? You're seeing, like, you're not seeing... Yeah, corn. 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 Cows. Cows. Right, right. Cows. Like, I could just, like, at point one mile, I could say, hey, here's my laundry. Point two miles. Here's coffee. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, (laughs) coffee. Coffee. Uh, (laughs) I've been... Gosh, like... I think, I don't know. I think I've been talking to my dad a lot recently. My dad's got a a Jersey, New York accent. He's lived there most of his life. And I've been talking recently. And sometimes when I hear it a lot, it, I just got, I, I semi grew up with it, and then yeah. I, and then been in the Midwest most of my life. But sometimes it comes out a little bit, right? There. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee talk. Coffee. Speaking of coffee, by beverages, things that beer that we're gonna drink right now. Yeah. Let's get into the rigmarole. For any of you joining us for the very first time, a brew with you is where Jeff and I, and sometimes Kate, will try a beer that we've never had before while discussing random topics. With the whole episode being released on Monday. If you like what you hear, like what you see, you like what you feel, go to patreon.com slash bigdealblake to just support the show and get your extra rewards and perks. Today, Jeff kind of got the beer. You got the beer. You you yeah. you purchased the beer, but it was a group effort because we were in Wisconsin, the land of marathons, half marathons. Yeah, well, we'll get into did. why we're in Wisconsin in a yes. minute, but yeah, we both stopped by Let's Mars Cheese down. Castle. You and I picked out this beer because it was something that we couldn't get, at least we'd never seen in Chicagoland, so... We picked this bad boy up. I don't even know how to say it. Sprecher? 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 We got uh, Black Bavarian. By? Style Lager. Sprecher. Sprecher. Yeah, that's Sprecher. Sounds good, right? Sprecher. Yeah. 
Nice logo. It's uh, Mad Scientist. It's alive. It's alive. Yeah. Not I love that movie. Like you ever see the old Frankenstein? Fantastic oh, yeah. acting. Oh, yeah. Kate doesn't watch freaking movies. <laughs> we'll get into that, too. Yeah, we got to get into that, Kate. So it says this intensely dark cum blocker, blocker. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Careful there. <laughs> I'm not sending this to my mom now. It's good to know. <laughs> it's K U L M. It's a new show for 101. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the 101 to go. Sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> style lager has a superb malt complexity with the distinctive flavors and aromas of coffee. 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 Coffee talk. Caramel or caramel. Which one is it? And chocolate. Renowned smoothness and a creamy tan head make it a world champion. Beer of the Month Club review. Wait, 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 a beer champion. What, what did it say? Like what it won? Or it is says, it just, he, or it just like it's like, or is it just saying Daddy's little son? It you know, says, gets a medal because he he participated. The champion. brewer, everybody yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah. The brewer, Randy's note says, I have been brewing this lager since my return from Bavaria in 1969 for over 35 years now. Okay, so that's some. Um, okay, so got it's some got some. Here. Oh. Um, no. Yo, you haven't poured oh, yet, there, Jeffy Poop. Sorry, you should have uh, passed it on. What it for you? My bad. Kate could have done it, but that's all right. <laughs> I might break a nail. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time to ask you, Kate. Are you a beer drinker at all? Yeah, I love beer. I love it. You oh, know what? Beer. That is awesome. That is so comfortable to hear on the show. It's just like, yeah, fuck yeah, pour me a beer. I want a beer now. Yeah. You don't hear that enough. It's no, like a don't. lot of times we just hear, yeah, it's okay, or yeah. once in a while, and some people are like, no, but I'm on the show, and that's what you guys do. It's just, it's great to hear. Yeah, fuck okay. yeah. Like Corey, I think, was the last one to be on the show. Yeah. Like Jeff's friend Corey. Yeah. Um, he was just like, oh, yeah, pour me a beer. I want a beer right now. <laughs> yeah. How many beers are we going to drink? I was like, finally. Like, uh, you know. And if Jeff and I, we like our beer, but we don't. And like, that's always it. We always have to, like, put that little security blank on the show. We're not uh, drinking, like, constantly every day. It's like a treat for us. That's why we have a new <laughs> yeah. beer every show and everything like that. Yeah. So I'm glad to hear that you are a beer drinker. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe it's the, the Kentucky in you. That yeah, you, like the beer. you know. know. Kentucky drinking. So, all right. Thank you for Cheers. being on the show. It's, okay. it's not moonshine. Whoop, whoop. I know. Day. Did you do the uh, mason, jars mason jar? Mason jar, just for you. Oh, a little yeah. southern charm. Southern charm. Thanks, love buddy. Let's throw it. Cheers. Mm. Tasty. Oh, that's, I'm into it. That's more refreshing than I thought it would be. It is. I yes. thought it was going to be a little bit heavier, stouty, but it is a lager. Mm-hmm. Black lager, so there's a little bit more flavor than your average lager. Mm-hmm. Definitely got that chocolate aftertaste. Yeah. It's like a. It's a little treat. It is a little treat. It's like a, um, <laughs> it's like something between, because it's a black lager. It's like a little bit of like a like a stout <clears throat> that's a little bit watered down, not watered down in a negative sense, but like to a lager. It has this this. It's not a, this thick, robust taste of a stout, but it's not this crisp, refreshing taste. It's like this balance between mm-hmm. the two. That's fun. It's fun. I like very it. approachable. I like the description. Very caramel, chocolate taste notes mm-hmm. with it. So it's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. not bad, Wisconsin. Land of beer. I'm sure they cheese and meat and beer. I'm sure they pair this with some kind of meats and sausages up there. Yeah, how much how much meat and sausage did you get in Wisconsin? It's it was ridiculous. I think we spent <laughs> <laughs> Did you good. hear that nervous laugh? <laughs> 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 uh, I think we spent like eighty bucks at Mars and Cheese Castle. That's awesome. And let me rephrase, I just got this. Connie came <laughs> the significant other came to the register with Two packs of cheese curds, two different sausages, two bags of popcorn. Popcorn. And yeah, there was oh, the, it was really good by the way. All right, I'll trust you on that. And um, I think like a couple different sausages. It was just ridiculous. And of course, we eat it like on Sunday, the day after the, our race. And then I was like, okay, like I can't eat this anymore for like another couple of weeks. So it's just gonna sit in the fridge for probably forever. Oh, we'll eat it. Yeah, there oh, you go. Okay, now yeah. do you eat dinner? I, I ate dinner, but I don't eat meat, so... You don't eat meat? Gosh, you are full of yeah, information let's, let's tonight. Get let's get into... Let's talk about you. Let's talk. Let's talk. Coffee yeah. talk. Bavarian yeah. talk. Yeah. Lager talk. <laughs> All right. First off, I think we've said it a million times already, but let's start from um, the obvious, what we just said. Where are you from? Start from the very beginning. <laughs> yep. Um, you got song breaking out and everything. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's not just a dancer. She's a singer, too. <laughs> Triple threat. That's another thing in episode 101 where every episode we're doing a musical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That'd be awesome. Jazz hands. <laughs> There's nothing better than jazz hands. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so I'm from Kentucky. No, what part of I'm not um, very familiar at all. It's all right. I don't think I've, I've just driven through. Yeah, Kentucky, that's fine. So I've known, but it's I've always south of to go. Illinois. South of Illinois. <laughs> it is below the Mason District. <laughs> Illinois, Dixon. Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. I have actually heard very good things about Kentucky. Pockets. Um, I actually have. And All right. Very good whiskey. That's what yes. I've heard. <laughs> yes. And uh, yep. there's some, some cities in there that um, 
in colleges especially that are mm-hmm. really really well populated and like a lot of good things to do. Good, uh, it's good. Um, good vibe. State yeah, is what I heard. Good family. Yeah, members. we're very so, proud. Yeah, I like very that. proud state. But not in a dick way, though. Not like in a Texas way. Well, like, if you go... <laughs> like that. Yeah, don't go to a Kentucky Wildcats basketball game. Well, oh, yeah. That's religion, though. Especially the Louisville-Kentucky game. Louisville. 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 Uh, so what part of Kentucky are you from? Uh, so I'm from a little town called Upton. Upton. 500 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's 500 more people, people like in this building. That's like a street town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, just like a little like farm town. There's, I like to say, there's more cows than people in Upton. <laughs> so. You ever go cow What's, tipping? I have to ask. Cow tipping is not a thing. Oh. One, cows are easily over a thousand pounds. <laughs> but when they're sleeping, they they tip. They're lighter. No, <laughs> they're not. It's science. It's two, they don't sleep standing up unless they're real, real tired. Or if, you know, it's cold or, you know, we can really get into this. You just blew our minds. Well, everything. this the movie Tommy Boy just, just got a whole lot less funny for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am just not going to laugh at all when I see that movie. At least that part. Kate said it's not true. Yeah. I'm going to get so mad. Like, no, a true Kentucky said no. No to you, Chris Farley. So don't run full speed into a side of a cow to try to tip it. No, it's like you running into a yeah. brick wall. <laughs> to where, like the cow will probably like like heel and kick you or something yeah, like that. Jeez, exactly. yeah, squirt milk at you. <laughs> What's um, the closest big town to that town? Um, so the town where like I went to high school and like where everyone works and all that um, is Elizabethtown, E Town. Okay. Um, which is so we're like an hour, hour and a half south of Louisville. Okay. If you've driven Louisville, down okay. 65, we're sure. one of those exits that has nothing around it. Okay. Got it. Okay. And so, um, what was it like uh, growing up in a uh, 500 uh, populated town? Mm-hmm. Uh, your only child? No, I have a little brother. Little brother. Mm-hmm. Is he still in uh, Kentucky? Yeah, he has my like family farm now. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he so you- lives five miles from my parents Aww. with his, his, uh, his sister-in-law, my sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> his wife. Uh, yeah, his Things wife. get a little confusing <laughs> in the South. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I really just like set myself up for every Kentucky my Sister-in-law's <laughs> uncle's yeah. brother's former roommate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not true. Uh, no, I have. I actually have family down south, and I defend the south Easy. exponentially because um, there's a lot of true things about southern charm, mm-hmm. southern hospitality. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of great things. I think a lot of um, people in north are. I mean, I think there's ignorant people everywhere you go. There's jerks Absolutely. everywhere you go. But I think true. I don't know if that if people really believe. Um, things of the south and i don't know if the south really believes things in the north if that's really true but you it's know it's all about exposure it's yeah. what are you exposed to i mean that's my right. biggest mm-hmm. argument about the south is that there's just not a lot of opportunity especially where i grew up there's more opportunity there's more bigger cities you you know you have uh resources accessible to you we have internet we have now we didn't <laughs> <laughs> for a long time i mean there wasn't cable for a while oh, nice. <laughs> my oh, where man. my brother now lives they just got, I remember when my grandpa got running water, or not running water, when he got um, cable TV. Nice. Wow. Like, it just didn't run that far. And he always had well water. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But well so water's just now they have around. city water. Oh, okay. See, so now they're living the dream. But see, I know. But there's something, <laughs> like, romantic t- to me about that. Like, yeah. living in that 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 area, that, that sort of, in a way, excuse me, seclusion, no cable or... Mm-hmm. Well, water, it's just kind of like that. Like, people but do you the want earth. that for your every day? Yeah, but to be honest, you don't really okay, you don't really know any otherwise, unless right. you visited like friends or family outside of there. But if that's yeah. your life, like, that's just what you're used to, yeah. that's what you grew up on. And so, okay, so I'm, I don't feel, yeah, I, I just I understand it, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate I mean, it. I, I sure. you know, I, I, I appreciate it too. And one thing I always wanted to do was. You know, take, you know, I don't know how I could do that be possible, but like take a month off or a summer off and just go south and work on a farm. Like, you don't, all I need is food and board. Like, I got like five of them that yeah. would sign you I up right now. That would be sure. shape. I would love to work on a farm for <laughs> Matt, three months. Matt, you hear that? I would yeah. Love like, any, anything you need me to do, get up at 4 a.m. and do the chores and stuff like that. I would love to see what that's like for a summer. Yeah. And just really, get, you know, get the hands dirty because I've done, I mean, I've gotten my hands dirty a lot growing up yeah. and like, but not true living you know what i mean like not like that lifestyle well it's interesting my sister-in-law 
Not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sister-in-law wife. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> she um, came up with my mom a couple months ago. The first time she came up to visit me. First time. Chicago's the biggest city she's ever been in. Um, it's a big city. Yeah. It, it absolutely is. Um, and we went out to dinner, just like a little corner place around, you know, by my house. And uh, first thing, of course, like everyone's like, oh, everyone's so fashionable. Ooh, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, Fancy whatever. Fancy yeah. yeah. Um, and then you realize then you're at McDonald's. Goes, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but then she like looks around and she goes, is this kind of what like everybody does? Like, do they just go out to dinner on the weekends? And, uh, you know, it was like a Thursday night or something. And I was like, well, yeah. I mean, she was like, what's your week look like? I'm like, well, you know, I go to the gym. I do this. I do that. I meet up with friends. Mm. And she, it was so like kind of like eye-opening to her because she goes to work. She drives, you know, and half an hour, 45 minutes to get home. Um, and it's still a similar and it's, commute and in it's Chicago. 30, 30, 45 yeah. miles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so and funny. then she comes home. They do their, their chores on the farm. They feed the cows. They, you know, this, that, whatever needs to be done. Make dinner because they can't just order in. There's no, like, ordering a pizza. Yeah, there's no Chinese and, place around the corner. Right, exactly. So they make dinner and then go to go bed, to bed and do it all at again. 10 o'clock. Yeah. So and that's part, it. So, so part of my ignorance to this question, because so your fair, your, your mom works, but she also is a farmhand. Is that accurate? my mom? Yeah. So my mom didn't work, but okay. people do. Oh, okay. Cause that's where I'm like confused. Cause I mean, my limited knowledge of farm life is, you know, your farm, like the, this is your, your profit. This is what yeah. you're doing. Unless you have like big, huge, you know, multi-million dollar operations, you can't really okay. sustain. I mean, mm. my brother and, and sister-in-law both both work. Um, and, and I mean, they break even on their farm. Okay. It, you know, my mom likes to call it a farming habit. So. Yeah. But it's so fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and you but, know you made it and you grew it. Yeah. Yeah. How but, much land? Just like enough acres, <laughs> a lot. as okay. far as the eye can see. <laughs> Everything the light touches. <laughs> exactly. It's no, they have. Um, I don't know. Like, like hundreds of acres, you think? Uh, like like a solid city block and a half. <laughs> I love how you went Chicago version. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, no. It's just it's right. land. I'm in the city. I like concrete, not <laughs> dirt. It's a, it's a salad from here to there. <laughs> That's how much. I really don't know. No, no. I can tell. Here, we no, can, no, we you're can fine. figure you're this fine. out. <laughs> so I think the big to make a big gap right now. Mm -hmm. So Kentucky girl, you went to school in Indiana. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I went to. I finished high school at a boarding school in Northern Michigan. Um, oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. What, so oh. what's that like? Oh. Boarding school. What's boarding school? Like? Tell me about um, that. So it was a performing arts school. Um, it's called Interlock and Arts Academy. Okay. Um, I went there as a dance major, and um, it's basically like high school, or excuse me, like college with more rules. So, so this was high school, though. Yeah, this is my senior year of high school. Okay. So this is your so so, but you went three years of high school in Kentucky. Correct. And yeah. then your last year, you went to Michigan. Yeah. And it was kind of like a, a pseudo high school and college yeah it was one. a four-year college or four four-year high school excuse okay. me um i just went for my senior year okay um, most people went either two to three years not many people went all four years um and the big reason for that is for dancing yeah and it was a so like i said performing arts they had a visual arts department um they now have like a really cool um film and mm. sound recording you know we're a bunch of nerds well. now. We got to get into that too. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, we like the films and recordings. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So it was just like we lived in dorms. We walked to class. You only took the classes that you had to take. Nice. Um, oh, and then it. I danced like four hours a day. Oh wow. Um, so yeah. backing up a step, where did <laughs> dancing come in your life? Oh, um, I, I was a baby. I was like. Four. Dancing out of the womb. That's how you got out. <laughs> I'm out of here. I love it. <laughs> did your mom like play like a lot of music when you're, did your mom ever tell you that? Very like, doubtful. Very oh, yeah. doubtful. Yeah. <laughs> My mom did that when I was, she played a lot of uh, classical oh, like, music like Beethoven and yeah. stuff like that. While yeah. she was no. pregnant with you, you mean? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and no. uh, there's actually a funny baby picture of me, uh, really young. And they put headphones on me. You know, this is like the eighties, you know, and they put on, um, I think it was Bach think I, I they would know and there's a picture of me just like with a <laughs> face of like excitement like, yeah and i'm like i'm like a baby yeah i'm real little and i'm just like oh i, I was like i have to find that picture yeah so that's great so, right so i digress I, I, and i 
talk about story on myself right there. Um, how did dancing get into your life now? Big deal, Blake. Um, yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com for Big Deal Blake. Support the show. Thank you very much. Um, we got a lot of announcements after the show uh, when the show's over, so Big Deal Blake, Patreon.com. Donate. It'd be great. Thanks. Right. <laughs> uh, so the, the famous story is that my mom took me up to Louisville to watch um, the Nutcracker from the mm. Louisville oh, Ballet. Yeah, yeah. And, the uh, Christmas Ballet. Yes. Ugh, if I have to hear that music, I never forget. <laughs> 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 it's ingrained in you. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so I went to see the Nutcracker and at intermission, apparently I just was like on the floor tantruming, like, I don't want it to be over. My mom's like, I guess I'm going to put her in dance lessons. Okay. Nice. Oh okay. God. So, um, so yeah. And then it stuck. My mom put me. How old are you saying? Like give or take? Like four or five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so, a little guy. Just a little, yeah. just a little, just a little guy. guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, I danced, um, I, I didn't really start taking it seriously, uh, probably until I was like. Mm, freshman in college or in high school, oh, like wow. freshman, sophomore. I mean, I danced like two, three times a week, but sure. then I started really, you know, I think that's going very common, and- like, especially, um, uh, my high school is one of the best programs for, um, women's volleyball. Okay. And a lot of, um, uh, young girls would do like volleyball, like, one or two days a week, three days a week, yeah. maybe. But when you get to high school, especially with men's like basketball or football too, mm-hmm. it's like you're used to practicing one, two days a week. When you get to high school, it's every day you practice. Yeah. But I mean, the women's volleyball team, not only did they you know practice during their, like, their school, like for the school team, they would actually, like, when they finished, they would go to like another practice afterwards. Yeah. And that's like, I feel like high school is that time where it's just like, okay, you got your taste now. Like, are you doing this yeah. right now? It's like this, like, this is what the real world's like in a way. If you want to, really want yeah. Well, that's when you start it. weeding out the the week. Yeah, that's right. for <laughs> real. Rip-rap. Yeah. Well, that's why we had trials. Crowd, so my yeah. grammar school, I, my school was one through eighth grade. We had no trial. We yeah. didn't have trials. We had we didn't have enough people. We was like, please, like get on the team, you know. Yeah. But when the high school, no, no, we had cuts, and it was like really nerve wracking. Yeah. When you have to wonder if I, I mean, I didn't play sports growing up, so I don't, I don't know. I'm talking about my ass but right they now. Have like but, a, but they have audition, auditions. Well, but so. but what I'm saying is, I wonder if some of that in in high school sports is driven by. Um, college sports and you can get scholarships and you can get, sure. you know, recruiters are looking at you and you have to take this seriously and, you know, yada, yada, yeah. yada. Well, yeah, it's politics too. You know, if you have, a, it could be anything. It could be a famous trumpet player to a football player to a dancer, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. They, get, they get a full ride to college or if they become famous, like, where'd you go to high school? I went to St. Francis and Wheaton and then enrollment. Everyone wants to go there. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, it's pride of your celebrities and then money, 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 money. Yeah. Um, so, High school is when you get really got serious into dancing. Yeah. And what kind of dancing are we talking about right now? Uh, so I was trained classically in ballet and the modern. Oh. Yeah. Very good. What yeah. What is the difference? Like elevator pitch. Like what is the difference between ballet and modern? Oh, ballet and modern dance. Yeah. Everything. So literally, uh, no. are you literally meaning like modern dance? Like so. Uh yeah. So think like locally, um, Hubbard Street is a modern dance company. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. So it's a little more so. Modern dance sprung off of... Here's a history lesson for you. No, we lo- uh, this is why you're on the show. <laughs> We've had so many, a variety of people on the show, which I'm very, very proud of. Over 100 episodes now from it just... I don't even have to list, but just so many different backgrounds, professions, yeah. and hobbies. And yeah. that's why we like to have you on the show, just to be like, what is up? Well, I just like to ask a little more like in depth of like, what is it? Just so I yeah. understand. Yeah, of course. Got to learn. Get a history lesson. Teach us. Yeah. So, Teach uh, <laughs> Yes. Here you go, <laughs> about The world. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so modern dance kind of started in like the early 1900s. Um, Martha Graham's one of the big people who started, they used to be ballet dancers. And as everyone knows, ballet, you can only do really until you're like 30, 35, 40, if you're really lucky. And have, so your, you feet, know. your toes, those damn ballerina toes. I don't know how well, you it's do not that. not even as much your toes. It's, it's more your joints and you're making your whole yeah. body do something that's, that's not relatively do, not yeah. unnatural. So then broke off these kind of different schools of modern dance and it's all um you know the moves are everything instead of being turned out like this you're yep. parallel because it's what's supposed to be natural to your body and your your movements and and when i went to boarding school it was really interesting one of the first classes i took was a dance improv class oh. and that and it's kind of you know you see now in dance like you know, 
years later. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but you see like the places like Hubbard Street. There's a girl that I danced with um, in high school that is a dancer there now, and she posts videos on Facebook and this and that. And it's and it's all very you know the way that they choreograph choreograph is they get a bunch of dancers in the room and say improv do what you do. Oh, that's so and cool. And then you just kind of get all weird mm-hmm. and do the whatever you want to to the music and I then love it. the dancer or then the choreograph choreographers then are like, oh, that's really cool. And, or uh, oh, they, I like how they, they, and that's they, your audition. Do they that's play crazy. the music for you or do you pick the music? Um, no, they'll play. Oh, this I is love, also I, I get a little um, because I got <laughs> I love that though. No, your... this is a little, little like nose up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> because even so I still take class here and there. Um, but you still do? <laughs> yeah, I oh, do. I yeah, I take it. class at the at the Joffrey when I can. Oh, sh- no something, shit. Now that like we're done with the with the half marathon, I'm going to start doing it again more. Um, but I only want to take classes that have live piano players. Oh. Because I got spoiled. Hey, I have you know what you like. Yeah, yeah. I have a theater I'd recommend, but they're closing in March, which is oh. really sad. My, um, uh, I would say acquaintance, I don't want to say friend, but acquaintance that mm-hmm. were, were really cool. She knows me. I know her. She's been in the game for 30 years. And uh, she she opened up this baby theater. And it's just, I had uh, two shows there, two good long run shows, two musicals. Yeah. Because it's, a, it's a musical theater. Oh, cool. But they have like a lot of dance and like they always, everything is like original and live too. It's like no nice. no sound. It's, like, it's all piano playing every time. You know, it's all like. It's awesome. And it's like, and that's the point there's, of live theater. It's there's like, so much yeah. energy to it. There's so much you can yep. feel when somebody's because you know none of our pianists in especially it's very fortunate in at interlock and like had these amazing pianists and no she music they didn't sit down with anything they just like oh you want Mm -hmm. and like and it was the most beautiful shit you've ever heard in your life and then you sit down with like the old grandma that like (laughs) shuffle in they have their like 40 books of no she music and he's like oh i love it i love it plies Bing, 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 you yeah, know, and you're yeah. like, oh, see, well, see, see, yeah. see, see, <laughs> right here. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So, oh, that's like the, that's like one of my things that just never clicked with me. And I have always, I've tried piano lessons three different times in my life, like mm. big gaps in my life too. Like when I was real young, uh, high school till three years ago, when yeah. I took piano. It's just, it's just something about it. It just doesn't click. And I yeah. want, I've always wanted to play piano. I just always wanted to just be, and I've worked so hard and I can be very below average just by <laughs> working so hard at it. It's just, oh, it's so, so discouraging, it's like, right? Yeah, it's so like, I really want to do it too. And I've tried. It's and learning really a different language. Yeah, it's, it's really, really so hard. Tough. Especially um, as an adult. So you still dance. I still take classes right now. Yeah. So what, so going from, Kentucky to Michigan for your board. It was, it was a boarding, boarding school. You saw boarding school, yep. and then you went to college in Indiana. Um, was there any? Uh, long story short, was going to Indiana. Was there any scholarships or dancing initiative there? You ready for another story? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I at Interlochen had the opportunity to um, audition for a lot of really nice dance schools and this and that. Um, but I had decided after being a year of art school. I was like, I just want some sports around me. I don't even mm. like sports. You just want people. Uh, I just want yeah. like a variety of people. One change. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to go to like a traditional university, but I didn't want to go to like a Big Ten school or anything like that. It's very similar to me. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I had um, gotten into every school that I wanted to. I oh. decided that I wanted to go to Butler University. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> exactly. Um, I can't do that so i'll let that, every I'll, game I'll the bring you along now you do the dancing do i'll do, do the barking <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i decided i wanted to go to butler got in academically and then went and did the audition and didn't get into the dance department mm. so i was like yeah so was, was um, it heartbreaking for you or it, well it was just like a little setback like a, well, well this is what i had decided i wanted to do so what oh. am i going to do now so what i did was uh i took a year off of school um trained with the louisville ballet school for a year and, um, which was the best thing that I had ever done. Like any parents out there, like, please give your kids a gap year. Like it's, it, it, make them do something, whether it's travel, whether it's practice, what they, their skill is like, whatever it is, mm. just have them do it. Because I was going to college wanting to be a ballet dancer, knowing that I wasn't going to be, you know, in ABT, but I could, I was, what's good ABT? In, uh, American ballet theater. It's one of the yeah. top, um, okay. ballet theaters in the country. Gotcha. Um, 
knowing I wasn't going to be in that, but that I would be able to, you know, survive on on some mid level and this and that. Well, I think that's a fair assessment to a lot of people's hobbies and ambitions. Where like, if you recognize, it doesn't matter if you're, um, you know, musician, dancer, sports player, whatever it may be. You're gonna have some reality. You have to, there's gonna be a point in your life where you realize like, I can't cut this. I I'm not gonna cut it professionally. Like there's sure. no way I'm gonna do this for yeah. a living professionally. However, I still love it. Yeah. So you can either do like the path of like I can just do this as a hobby. Yeah. I can uh, teach it. You know, I can mm-hmm. find other outlets for it, or use that as a stepping stone to move to an even bigger passion. Yeah. To what you want. I mean, a lot that. Uh, so many people, a very popular expression now that I'm hearing more and more is give up on your dreams where, you know, not everyone's going to be that perfect. Like everyone's like, follow your dreams and you'll achieve them. If you work hard, you'll get it. Like <laughs> that's not, that's kind of bullshit because yeah. if you're five foot three and you're very determined to play football, you have a very, <laughs> you're very, still going to yeah. die. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just you're physics. Just die. <laughs> it's, it's science. Yeah. Yeah. It's like let's, you have to have some reality and some like some, like understanding about yourself. Like, yeah. And then there's total. It's totally fun. not like give up your dr- and now giving up your dreams sounds so harsh and cold, but, but there's a reality have to, have, to yeah, it. Yeah, you have to have a reality like, check that a lot of people and you know the, the terrible word millennials like they you don't. They, <laughs> But the very stereotype is that like we have been pushed like you you can do everything that you want yeah. to and if you you're passionate enough about it, especially in the art world like if you have the passion if you have the drive if you have the love like you can do this right yeah well I'm sorry if you don't have a trust fund you're not gonna be able to be a mid level dancer yeah like that's you know it's, and it's that's a huge part of the it. what I found out basically mm-hmm. by training with the with Louisville Ballet was that. You know, the only, the kind of turning moment was the only dancer, because we got, I didn't dance with the company, I trained with the school, but we got very close studios and whatnot, and um, the only dancer that always came in and was happy and, like, looked like she was enjoying being there, I found out that her husband was a, was an orthodontist. I'm like... Well, the the likelihood that I'm going to marry a dentist uh-huh. is not very good. Yeah. So <laughs> yep. I should probably figure out how I can yeah. make this work. So there's not yeah. many dentists in Kentucky, am I right? <laughs> there should We're be. We're as bad as the Brits. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Make a million bucks a day down there. <laughs> right? yeah. Just pulling teeth. I mean. Yeah, just pulling teeth. We got people's done. teeth. We got horses' teeth. We got all kinds of teeth down there. Um, so... Yeah. Wrapping up here, um, how did you end up in Chicago then? So, ended up still going to Butler. Okay. Um, got my degree in nonprofit management um, and really graduated college in 2009. I was like, well, fuck, what am I going to do? Yeah. Was, do I go home? I have, a, I I have I... a nonprofit degree. It's like <laughs> a quarter life crisis. It's like, yeah. oh, I've worked, it's like, that's the biggest thing is you feel that that's probably the, one of the biggest thing is if when you're in college or a student and you have your mentor or a teacher, that's the most important thing a teacher or mentor could tell you. Like you finish this program, you're not guaranteed shit. No. Nope. Welcome to the real world kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you are not guaranteed anything. Yeah, you get, you get thrown nothing. in the deep end and teach yourself how to swim. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think Lewis Black, the comedian, stand up comedian says, it was like, enjoy this. Cause it's the last greatest four years of your life. Cause oh as soon God. as they're over, you're Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> so true. So true. Just, just so you me. did you move straight to Chicago out of college? Yeah. So I um actually my mom remembered because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. My mom was like, didn't uh, your sorority sister need a um need a, a sublet for the summer in Chicago? <laughs> she doesn't sound like that. This yeah, is just she her does. voice. <laughs> she sounds lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is just her voice. Um, <laughs> this is how she sounds in my head. Yeah. And so she um, she said, didn't she need a sublet in Chicago? I was like, yeah, mom, but I don't really, I don't know. Chicago, I've been there, I've done that. So she's pretty much saying, please don't come home. Oh, yeah. No, that was the, the, yeah, yeah. the start of yeah. the conversation was, well... You're not coming home, so <laughs> Chicago's got a lot of dancing. I heard yeah. Alaska's nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, because she doesn't want me to go too far. Yeah, she true. doesn't want me across the country. Yeah. But yeah, Chicago, right, I mean, right. it's, it's a couple states away. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I called my friend. She still needed a sublet, and uh, that was a Friday how, on how, a how Monday. How did you know your friend? She was in my sorority. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So that was part. a Friday. Uh, I was like, all right, cool. I'm moving to Chicago. Cool. Monday we. Packed my stuff up wow. and 
There, there was, was. was there any fear with that at all? Because I no, mean, no, because like, I was young and stupid. I, I was like twenty three yeah. years old. See, you I know? was full of fear and regret and, <laughs> and hesitancy no. growing up. Like, I was because uh, I went from Chicago and I went to school in Ohio, and I'm like, yeah. that's compl- I went from the city to the farm town. You weren't yeah. going from the farm town to the city. You know, it's it's a different yeah. mentality. Um, but that's awesome that you were just like, oh yeah, sure. Like you could just embraced it. Yeah. You yeah I mean, it was just, yeah, it was your personality is just like, yeah, let's have fun. Like, let's just, uh, you know, if it comes to a problem, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it sort of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Um, so just moved in your old sorority sister. Yeah. Got a job and been here since. So, yeah, pretty much. Um, worked with nonprofits for a little while, um, which was my degree, uh, was in fundraising, kind of got a little burnt out on that and, moved my way into production which is I talk about all the time is, is kind of like a lot. natural like uh, segue from the theater right, right. like, right, right, like right, I'm right. doing I'm all I'm doing is is trade shows it's not glamorous or exciting by any means but it's it's kind of that like you practice for a show and you do a show and then you're done with the show and you move on and mm-hmm. then it's the same thing wash and repeat you know yeah. so but you still like a job? yeah I do, I, do. I, that's all, I like to hear that whenever I ask someone on the show and and uh, I ask them usually two things. Like, do you like your job? you like what you're doing? They say yes or no. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And then you usually follow up with, like, what's the goal? Like, what's the end goal? Yeah. You? you know, like, what is it for you? Is it is it just continue? Do you, you said you still dance. Is that still a thing in the back room? Yeah, I mean, that's just more, I, listen, like like any artist or anyone that has a passion about anything, like, you, it's in your bones. Like, there's something about you. There's something fundamental about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Like, you have to do it. It's something that, you know, <laughs> You, you kind of work for your passions, right? Like, right. and there's a few lucky ones of us that like get to do what we're passionate about, Damn which it. I feel I like I get earlier, a little bit of earlier, when you said like chase your dreams, like it's like difficult, like no one makes, like a five foot three person can't be a <laughs> professional football player. Right. But I always feel like your dreams can be, you can still meet them, but just at a different level, like a different mm-hmm. limit. But so not, you can always dance, but it's not going to be professional dance. Yeah. Or I could always run but i'm not going to play in the olympics on track and field and vice versa so i like being a still, podcaster right now yeah. i'm not like but like for here's a good example for me you know i was like i want to you know do comedy professional comedy and stuff like that when i got to real like and i did it for seven years really understanding the process and things that go with it mm-hmm. like i don't know if this is for me but i took all of that and then took all like i see i have all this theater the stage this presence this listening this improv and acting all this stuff then, like, all from my college and my education, I have this all this technical and uh, computer and editing and all this stuff. So I'm just taking that and, like, merging into this right now. And if this – nothing happens to this or anything, I'm taking this. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just moving to stuff that makes me happy. And I – like, you, you're a creative. Uh, you're sure. artistic in a way. Yeah. And, and we – you have to fill that. I love yeah. that you just said that. I love that you said that. It's like, mm-hmm. no matter what we're doing, like, we have to fill that gap. Whether it's – even if it's in our job. Like, I do creative for my job. Yeah. But that's necessarily my creative. It's that that's what the man wants creative. Sure, like I need sure. to have my creative outlet too. Yeah. You know? yep. So I very well said. Great, great story. It was oh, great thanks. journey. Great journey. Thanks, guys. From the, the small town girl, like, oh, what am I gonna do? And then, She's you know, just a small town <clears throat> girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Talk me rural. <laughs> You know how you said earlier that you couldn't do the bulldog sound from the butler? Yeah. I bet you there's an app for that. Oh, man. There probably <laughs> is. <laughs> I, I bet you there is. Second way, segue to the next segue thing. Segue into. Yeah, so oh. that's it. Oh, look at that segue. <laughs> oh, look there's who an app for me. that. My mom called me. Oh, she she oh, she knew. Knew. oh I told she, she would have answered. Should we that. listen to the voicemail? It's not a bulldog. <laughs> no, it's close. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I love this face with it that he does. Yeah, I, don't know, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, your mom. Does should, she we, little, should we listen to the voicemail? Let's see what it says. Charm. Let's it, see what it says. Uh, it's probably, Kate, it's your mom. Put it in the mic then. Wait. Hold on. Oh, it's in text format. Oh. I, mean, I can't get that to work on my phone. Right? I don't know how to do it. The text? Yeah. Oh, oh, this what is good. This is good. Hold oh, on. Oh, the so, voice text? Sorry. No. So <laughs> I'm still on the family plan, you know. Family plan. And, <laughs> <laughs> and because I've been running with my, like, with my GPS app and whatever, so I've been using a lot of data. Just mm-hmm. be really oh, concerned yeah. about yeah. the data. <laughs> right. So this is, this is talking about the data. I want to hear your mom now. Is it oh. Hello, it's your mama. Um, I just got I just got home from book fair. It's like nine o'clock. Anyway, so I just got your message, and um, I guess I'll just talk to you some other time. But you think the running app did it, and 
y'all think you're going to make it on 25% between now and the 23rd? I hope. Anyway, let me know if you think you can. Love you. Bye. Oh, look at mama. 25% from now on the 23rd? You think you're going to do that? Yeah. The hilarious thing is, my mom thinks she's not Southern. She grew up, she was born in Upstate well, she got New an York, accent. And she grew up in, in Detroit and then moved to Chicago. <laughs> or moved to Chicago, moved to Kentucky in, in college. So she's been there more than half of her life. That's so funny. And so she, but she's like, I'm a Northerner. I am a Yankee. <laughs> no, nope. like, I heard that. Detroit you heard to that. Kentucky, you know, that's, yeah, there's, yeah. that's a little bit of a yeah. gap, you know. <laughs> we um, heard it, Mama. You heard it here. <laughs> All right, so. The sack of the show, which we all kind of um, agreed upon before the show. It wasn't like usually we have our yeah. guests. You, well, you did suggest this to Jeff, and Jeff told I mean, me, and that was like to. kind of like the hot topic right now. Yeah. It's something I think that everyone just kind of wants to talk about regardless or not. Little uh, device has uh, just got announced a couple days ago. We're all holding it in our hands all right now. It right now. Not the new one. No. But a version of it. Don't drop that. Yeah, the new <laughs> Apple announced the new uh, the new three iPhones. There is three of them. Three, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the we I- got uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, gosh, okay. When this happened, when Apple announced this this Apple press conference, and it's gonna happen, and then the all these rumors and all this speculation, and and what's gonna the phone gonna hold on, uh, entail, and how much, and blah, 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 and then you know the internet just blew up and then it's trending on Twitter and everyone's tweeting about it and it's just a big effing deal and then you know I'm caught and I'm no Jeff could feel my anger I think yeah well because we were <laughs> texting like during anger. all this yeah we're texting during this like, using our Google Hangouts and I'm getting pissed <laughs> during, because during the like the right when it was over like, okay. right when it's app over yeah. the Apple thing's over I'm getting yeah. pissed <laughs> because I just want to know what the shit they announced. I can't watch the conference because I can't like live stream at my office, right? Yeah. So I'm just like, I just want a comparison or just know what they announced. And every goddamn website and everything's posting like Apple 8 announced, Apple 8 plus announced, X announced, uh, it's really pronounced 10 and Apple <laughs> and got phones announced, what's coming out? And it's like, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> what is coming out? It's so true. When, like Every what? article like didn't explain what the phone was. It's just, it was yeah. just like, the 10 and the X and the no screen and the no button and here you go, have fun. And it's like, what the hell was that? Like, yeah. you're not telling me what it, this it is. It took forever to just be like, what did they announce? And then Jeff finally gave me a link on <laughs> Apple's website yeah. where exactly, exactly what I just wanted to know was here's the three phones we announced. It was the 8, the 8 Plus, and the X, or the 10, they call it. Yeah. yeah. And then they just you scroll down and like here are the, the specs side by side. I, finally yeah. found. Yeah. I was like, I just want to know. I just need See to know phone? what's the difference between specs. this one and that one, right. and is it worth paying more for that one or not? It was no. such a. The answer is no. I'm not either. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I mean, unless the, you can expense it to no. a company. Yeah. No. <laughs> I is, actually. That is the culture we're in now, though. Is. If it's hot, you want to be the first to post. You want to be the first to tweet. Yeah. If you're just a, a, a pedestrian, a bystander, you want to like crack out that first joke mm. uh, or that meme. You know, like crack it out first so you get I the most likes. Any good I- iPhone? Oh, there's yet. tons. Oh, there's tons. Oh. And then like, if you're the news outlet or the blog, you want to get that first yeah. information to get the first. And like, the problem with that though is like, I'm not. I have no facts. I have nothing about. It. I just like. You're the first link to pop up. Congratulations, but it's a, it was a complete waste of my time to click on it. And yeah. finally, you have to just go but you to didn't the source. Click on it, so it got those clicks. Got it those, did. That's know, right. It right. got right. those impressions. It's all, yeah. it's all about the clicks. I uh, I did watch the keynote live streaming, or more listen to it than watch it because I was at my computer and just listening to it. And they did a pretty good job throughout the whole conference. I mean, it, it takes forever. It's like three or four hours. Oh, it's ridiculous. Three hours? Well, because yeah. they announced that they do the, oh, th- they did the Apple three stores. phones. Yeah. They did the watch. They did the... Stores. And the, did they talk about the, and the, the, the new TV, charging pad? The new charging pad. Yeah, I want to know more about that. Cool. It's just, it's a wire. So the new phone's going to have a glass back. Okay. So you can throw it on a, a, a pad and it's wireless charging. And the pad has to be plugged in? Pad's got to be plugged in. Okay. But then you I can charge so. everything. Yeah, you so charge, you can put your, I could your charge watch, my watch, phone, my phone, yeah, all, all just by throwing it like on a table yeah. and it's there. So, all about that. which is totally awesome. But they did a really good job. I mean, they did the Apple TV, which had a tons of upgrades right. and well. Yeah, like so. the, all those Apple TV upgrades because Apple TV still isn't um, the the norm. Like, no. I don't, 
excuse me. Do you have it? <laughs> yeah. That looked like, like, like squeaked out of there at the end. Did you see that? I was like, you don't have it. I, that was weird. It wasn't like a full burp. It was like this little like a like, gurgle. Just pop. Yeah, a gurgle. Yeah, it was like a, it was like, a pop. It was like pop. A pop. Um, that was awesome. I, uh, my my girlfriend has Apple TV, and I yeah. think it's pretty great. The remote sucks because it's like try, Apple. It's the problem with freaking Apple is that they, they the it's all about like oh sleek and yeah. cool, and it's yeah. like I can't. It's like holding it with your pin you know, and just <laughs> tapping it with tweezers. To, with the touchpad, I don't get and, it, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a touchpad? Yeah. So The new one, you mean? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, oh. so the new one, I could be... T- okay, so I'm at my friend's house. Um, he has to like run downstairs or something. He's like, here, here's the, you know how to use this thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it. You're turning on <laughs> lights. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a Apple dancer. TV. Okay. Yeah. I got, I work in AV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. That's right, right. And then he leaves me and I'm like, Barry Manilow starts playing in the background. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> because you have, the top of it is like a touch pad that I didn't realize. Oh, and weird. then there's like the buttons on the bottom. <laughs> I'm trying to push buttons, and I'm like, it's not. I know how to work Netflix. It's not working. <laughs> we come back down to downstairs. Kate just crying. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he comes back, it's and I'm like me. watching something kind yeah. of weird, and I'm like, <laughs> you're, you're like a mo- you're like a monkey Hi. with. I <laughs> Totally. You're like a monkey with I tools. You're like, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 but I couldn't. To this day, he's gonna watch this now and yeah. know that yeah. I know yeah. how to do it. Um, he, I'm gonna say I, this. I didn't tell he you. knew. <laughs> That's so good. He definitely yeah. did. He definitely did. Ooh. So, what are your thoughts about like? So, here's the thing. I want to like get into the meat of this though. Like, is is are you gonna buy this? I mean, is it? Is I'm it buying Apple, two tomorrow. Apple's created this game apple created the smartphone yeah. game right are we <laughs> <laughs> kate I, like i said before kate's kate's phone right now looks like like a storm hit it like it has many lightning bolts because the cracks yeah. <laughs> you know what you, you gotta do it's in shattered in like in crazy post, I think. yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, 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 it's bad. i love i saw this great picture someone uh, broke their phone and oh, the glass crazy. cracked and it just like this, like this small part here, and it like spread, you know. Yeah. And someone took a picture of Chuck Norris kicking, and then the screen capture <laughs> yes! and shaking that yes! screen. You see that? Yeah. It was so I mean, there's, great. What I mean. there's actually chunks taken out of this thing. Oh, really? I'm not even kidding. I've never yeah. seen something like that before. And I literally, I just, well, I was oh, wow. just talking, but we've all seen oh. me talk now. Yes. And it just fell out of my it's hand. It's a lot of hand and movements. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it fell out of my hand, and I'm like, oh shit! Oh, I dropped my phone. And my friend picked it up, and he goes. I'm just gonna keep. Yeah. Let's just not let's look just, at this. Yeah, we're just, having a good night. Yeah, night. let's not ruin. I this. feel like yeah. if you want to like touch a thing, it feels like those like movies or cartoons when the cartoon character or the person's on the ice. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, every time you touch that, like, <laughs> 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 it's yeah. so bad. So but what, here's the thing: what, it was gonna be like a hundred bucks to fix it. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Fifty to hundred. I just want to get a new phone. I don't. Yeah. How, what, what version do you have? What number do you have? That's a 6S. Okay, I have a 6. You have a 6S. What do you have? I have a 6. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm and going on three years in mine. Yeah. Yeah, this me is too. like almost two years. Yeah. I'm about, that, but I'm about that right now too. And I'm like highly considering leaving Apple Ooh. for the next one. Yeah. So I'm you know, like, October 3rd comes the new Pixel 2, the new Google. Yeah. Because that's going to be, that's really competing right now is the new Google phones. And, and that's what I'm, and that's exactly what I'm getting at. Yeah. We're obsessed with Apple hardware, but we all use non Apple software. I just don't oh, like yeah. Android. I, I, I've done Android. I can't do but it again. They have, yeah. like, I'm talking about recent, like, back in the day, Apple destroyed the competition because it was efficient hardware. Now, I really feel like a lot of these new phones, like, I'm talking about spanking new, they are. As fast as an Apple, and they're is as oh, precise. Yeah. Everything's and, caught up at this point. And uh, I don't know if you watch YouTuber. He's like one of the top ten most popular YouTubers. His name is Casey Nostat. He's a New Yorker. Uh, he's all like he's his vlogs are crazy. Like he rides on electric skateboards and has vlogs, and it's all about technology and meeting like other celebrities and YouTube. He's he's like he's a millionaire, you know, just mm-hmm. because of his YouTube channel, pretty much. Um, he, uh, he was talking about like his, um, wow. Well, he likes the, uh, was it the note, the note eight, yeah. note seven, uh, like that? galaxy note. And he was showing examples like why he likes styluses and like, you know, Steve jobs like, Oh, who wants a stylus? It's an extra thing. Like, Oh, get rid of it. It's all with your fingers. And he was like showing examples of 
you know, using your phones and using mm -hmm. Instagram or like photo editing or tricks and how yeah. difficult with a stylist, like he was like doing such crazy things with his note with the same picture and everything like that. And I was like, Oh, I found that very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I'm just saying this, I didn't get all, uh, my, my nipples didn't get all hard after seeing these uh, <laughs> Apple phones or anything like that. I, I'm just like, okay. Um, it's just the same thing, I think. And that's what the seven was a complete waste of time. Yeah, and now it's like, okay, higher resolution screen and this stuff. It's like, well, okay, whatever. Well, here's the thing that is catching up to other countries' technology, if you will. Uh -huh. um, the face recognition. It's creepy. It's creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. But it's catching up. But you're only going to get that in the, in the 10. Correct. You're Correct. not going to get that in the 8. Or the that's device. another thing. That's another thing that made me mad. Okay, so we have the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, right? So then the next phone is the iPhone 9, and then the iPhone 10 comes out. Probably now, what do not. they do? 10 so they 10s. So this is they win eight because it's what? the next. Oh yeah. Oh, like six, six s, seven. Six, yeah. Okay. They win five, six, seven, eight. The 10 is their anniversary phone because it's been 10 years since their original one. Oh, I one. get that. So their next one won't be a 9. It'll be a 10S or an 11. Cause so they're skipping 9. They'll skip 9 probably. So my the 10 guess. is really 9. But it's, Okay, for any dorks out there, I don't have to go into this though. This is just my, I have to drop a little dork yeah. knowledge. This is just like Final, Final Fantasy, the video games, where in Japan, they do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in America, 6 is really 3. And it goes reverse. Stop moving yeah. around, you AV nerd. <laughs> 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 I had to drop a little like dork knowledge yeah, on you. Yep. This is what it's reminded me of, though. It's just this the naming convention. I thought it was really funny because one of this, the iPhone 9 anniversary phone, or you know what I mean? Like, so they could still go in sequence. You have the anniversary iPhone A. Well, it's also yeah. X because it's the next generation phone. Like, no other phone can compete so against they're gonna this skip, right now. You're, you're predicting they're going to skip nine altogether. That's my prediction. So the next one. So next year when they drop the new phone next fall. Or they drop a new phone every year, right? Yes. Yeah. So next fall, it's going to be the iPhone 11? Probably, or like the 10s or something like that. But I think 8 going to be their last phone that looks like this style. They're never going to make another one like this again. Yeah, because the, well, the, the anniversary yeah. phone doesn't have the home, yeah. the home button, and it does yeah. the face recognition. But see, like, it's kind of weird, because my rule of thumb with um, technology is you never buy the first generation, right? Yeah, we're on the... Um, iPhone 8 now, mm -hmm. but iPhone 10 is technically new technology in terms of like no home button. Like I don't like jumping into that right away. I'll wait till they perfect that a little bit until it comes the norm. I get know? that. And then I get into that. I'm going to get the, I'm ordering it tomorrow. You probably should order it <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah, I, need, I need this yeah. shit now. Yeah. Uh, you had to pre-order. I need it now. Yeah. I, it to, to, I was going to say two Steve Jobs. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, that uh, just killed Joe. No. Just <laughs> you can, um, um, but we also need to talk about not having a headphone jack because that's what we're all gonna face. And see, and again, it's here in my point why? with the stylus was uh, each phone is kind of what you use use it for. So if you would do something, you know, you're posting a lot of pictures on Instagram, you want a better camera, you want this and that. That's you're focused on like the camera and the app capabilities. Right. Like a lot of people that I know use their phones uh, to test audio when we're on shows and things like that. And it, you can't, you know, like the converter makes it, you know, weird. And yeah, that, you know. there so, is a converter, but they kind of fixed the solution because before the head, if you want to listen to headphones, it went into the charger port and you couldn't charge That's your phone at the now. same time. Oh, no, because they're doing that and the wireless. But now you can because now you could throw it on the wireless pad. Sure. But that okay. pad has to be charging. Yeah. But so you'd have to be plugging into a wall anyway. Yeah. Or if you're, you know. But if you were listening to music, so like on the sixes, you can listen to music and charge your phone. Yeah, we can. On the sevens and an up, well, the sevens only, you can't listen to music and charge. Life but see, so now you can because you can throw it on the pad and listen to music. See, I'm all about this headphone. I mean, like, unless they're really, Apple's going to like pave the way for no headphone jacks because, yeah. I think they're going to go back to a headphone. I think so too. But well, headphone jacks have been around forever. Like, yeah, we've gone from like VHS, like eight tracks, tapes, CDs, digital, you know, VHS, DVDs, Blu-rays, blah blah blah. Headphone jacks, headphone jacks has been around forever. Like, it's been around since we could like you know have that technology. Yeah. It's always been there, and it's like Bluetooth 
is still not there. It's no. it's close. It's like 90, 95% there, but it's still not 100% but, reliable. You but do you have anything right now that's Bluetooth 5.0? Because right now there, there's the most everyone has 2.1 right I now. I don't think I do. It's all three. Where now the eights and the iPhone ten is going to be 5.1, which is like the whole new technology, which is going to no, like no, blow here, what we have now out of the water. But here's the kicker to that now: Do I have to have a headphone set that's f- five compatible? Usually everything's backwards compatible. So, but yes, well, no, I don't know. That's a good question. Because like a headphone jack doesn't matter if I have like I have headphones from 1988 and I yeah. put it in my own phone iPhone, they'll work. Right. But like Bluetooth is like this version, yeah. this version, this version. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just saying I don't know. I don't know yeah. either. But I mean, I don't know how much. I mean, a headphone jack's been around forever. So I'm like, I don't know how much technology yeah. really are they saving or yeah. is it time consuming to get rid of a headphone jack? But because here's another thing too is my Bluetooth headphones, which I use. I use yeah. Bluetooth all the time. But sometimes just from... My ignorance, I forget to charge my headphones, yeah. right? So then I, but I have my cable to just try to plug my phone in case Bluetooth goes out. So yeah, it's just like, right. am I just SOL then if my yeah. headphones go? I mean, I, I don't know. You're done. I just, or if I, you're on, I like, have questions, yeah. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> but there's really not a huge difference between the 8 Plus and the X, the no, 10. There's, not. there's There's really only like two major differences because the, the processor is the same, the, the camera is the same, literally everything's the exact yeah. same except for. <laughs> Face recognition mm-hmm. and emojis. Yeah, that's which is crazy. Right. I cool. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I looked at the phones. But is it worth an extra four hundred dollars? No. I don't I'm no. not gonna pay for that. So what are you looking at then? I'm gonna do the eight plus. That's what I was looking at. Too. I'm gonna do the bigger if, if phone. If I do Apple, I'm doing the eight plus if I do it. I'm doing eight plus. I, I want I'm gonna I'm it's gonna be hard to get used to the bigger big one. Too. I just but I love that it's got a better camera. I know. Yeah. I think I'll just I think I'll just get used to it though. You'll get used to it. Ugh. I don't know. We'll that's a, I don't know though, Jeff. But I, that's the thing I look about. I mean, I'm talking generally speaking. You know, I I don't have a big hand, but I don't have a Donald Trump hand either. I <laughs> I, I have a hand. I mean, like the, even for me though, the eight plus is big. But I could think over time. I can you get used it. to it. Yeah. I Kate, I don't think. I no, think that's really big. Would be, it would be a two-hander. Yeah, I think that's a, a that's a big job. phone for you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I mean, I can, I mean, that can the say, whole. And also, too, a big thing that women do. That's part three of the podcast. Is they like <laughs> they put their uh, phones in their back pocket. You know, yeah. that's like a big. Oh yeah. That's like pretty much like a putting an iPad in your back pocket. Yeah, Hi, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, what now if you put it in your back pocket it's it's glass now so yeah. could it shatter a little bit differently but it's durable glass hopefully it'll never happen like again right glass. kate that's what they're apple saying like it's the most durable glass ever yeah. one thing i don't like about the 10 that i heard today is that they so the face recognition to unlock it yeah they're they're not they took away the the print you know you can do the finger they took the 10 doesn't have that at yeah. all yeah it's all so it's you just have to yeah. do face recognition yeah. no you do you really have what you can put in a code you could do the code still okay but it, there, you know the fingerprint so think about if you're driving I use the code all the time i don't use the the only time i use my fingerprint is for like apps when i can't remember my password for like like amazon or something like that i just use the the touch to remember my yeah. password but that's it I the first thing i thought manually. about though was driving for the so the people that want to do that's the first recognition your phone when you're driving anyways but, what are you that's I'm not saying. saying I will, but I'm saying there's a lot of people that use their phone when they drive. And the only way to unlock it with face recognition is to look at it. So we, <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to have your you eyes You have open. to have your eyes on it. If you have your eyes closed or looking away, it's not going to do it. Well, so either you're going to have your phone in front of you while you're driving, or you're going to be completely look, looking away from the road yeah. to take it off. So you're saying that Apple's going to be responsible for thousands of extra deaths. They're very well could be. Road. Although they say it unlocks it within like a, two-thirds of a second, but still. And life matters in point one seconds jeff it does especially <laughs> when you're on a motorcycle lives matter oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're on your phone on your motorcycle jeff, i'm gonna Please. smack you no i'm saying i'm i gotta watch when out for you, people my hand's gonna come out of my phone and just slap you that's why i have the watch because when you text me i'm like yeah i'm good i'm Jeez. on my way <laughs> Jeez. well yeah if i do go apple it will be the eight plus yeah. but i am highly considering this uh note eight um you're going it's, samsung huh well, I'm looking into it, and uh, I've heard a gr- lot of great things about uh, Samsung's been catching up. But also the uh, Pixel, though, too, the uh, the new Google phone, right? You said, was it called Pixel 2? Oh. The Pixel 2. Yeah, mainly because, like, I want to see a phone because I'm using, I use Gmail, I use Google Photos, 
I don't use. I, oh, yeah, I don't my whole use, life is on. Google. Everything's Google. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, why not you? Like, why not catch up with the hardware? Like, if if and I have to see the if the hardware is not there, then I'll just say I have to stick with Apple again, Google. But Google's not going anywhere because of they own everything else. But like, come on, you own everything else. Let's get the hardware there yeah. too. You know, like, yeah. I, I don't know. Yep. I liked. I played with the first Google phone and I really liked it, but it, then all of a sudden you start going like the the operating system and it's that Android and it's glitchy, it's slow. Apple has one of the, it's the best operating system. It's yeah, fast. But I think like, you don't it's think they perfected easy, that yet? Fast. Like with these new phones? You don't think it's gone I yet? played with the Samsung Galaxy, whatever it is, eight notes and I still found Already? it like, yeah. Is it out? Well, whatever the, whatever the most recent one is out, the seven okay, or the eight the or whatever. But out, yeah. I mean, you can like click on an icon or a app or whatever like that and it takes like, it's like, and then it loads and it's like it's just it, they're still very glitchy where yeah. iPhones are extremely fast interesting okay how about you you gotta just get an iPhone just say fuck it I'm just gonna iPhone 8 yeah I don't I mean I'm a creature of habit sure. it, it's gonna look the same it's gonna feel the same it's gonna I like the home button I don't uh, quick you know, I don't hate it. Are, you doing, are you gonna do the plus no, no you gotta no, just get the 8 the, just get the 8 the hand size just get, just get the 8 <laughs> just get the, the hand eight. size I'm just gonna get the 8 so quick question for you guys before we became creatures of habit, like you said, with the iPhones, and we've had iPhone 3s and 5s and 6s and blah, blah, blah. What was the phone you had before you went I Apple? You know, oh. before you went iPhone? I thought you were going to ask what was my favorite cell phone of all time. I Everyone's going to say answer. Nokia because it was the greatest phone No way. Ever. Nokia, Nokia had the shit. My the favorite show. phone was the Nextel. Oh, okay. The, like, the, the, the clamshell <laughs> next to the old like that was Danny's man. Phone. I could throw that thing down to Rock Hill and yeah. pick it back oh, up, yeah. and it would be so it would be perfect. But I loved. I had f- like fifteen. All of my friends had Nextels. Yeah, Danny loved. And it was phone. in probably like freshman year in college time frame, maybe even high school. Yeah. But like everybody would just chirp each other and just and it would n- never use any of your f- data minutes, yeah. nothing. Yeah. And it was you the had best. To pay and it text. was yeah. Yeah, no, none of that. Yeah. Yeah. And just chirp away. Just chirp away. It was so <laughs> great. You could do group chirps. Oh, you could do. That was <laughs> so good. It's a whole new world. This, I didn't know if, about. If, if next time we can work. Construction workers. Yeah, right? <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> sexual. <laughs> My God. Circle chirp. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say anything dirty. Circle chirp. I didn't say anything dirty. Oh. I didn't say anything dirty. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I can bleep that out. <laughs> um, anywho. Well, was no anyway, what was your phone? Before the iPhone? Is that what you, the original question? I had a like a, a slide phone that I thought was pretty oh. Did you have a razor? Anyone have a razor? Oh, I had the razor. I never I had a razor. I loved the razor. the razor. No, I was... Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a cell phone until like way later. Like I was way behind like getting a cell phone. Like how behind? I was in college when I got a cell phone. I didn't have it in high school. Okay. Uh, everyone, like a lot of... Well, I went to a very rich preppy high school, so like everyone had cell phones. I didn't have one. Yeah. Um, I had one in, I had one in college. I didn't get one until my sophomore year in college. That's yeah, not that late. Uh, my year off school. Oh, okay. I got a phone. Hmm. Mine was definitely f- senior year in high school, but it wasn't like to use. It was for emergencies only. I had five minutes on the phone, and it was meant for the glove box only. Yeah, in so case, I, I, yeah. in case I my had, car went okay, down. You want to get real technical? I had, and that I was had senior. a brick phone. I had a brick phone yeah. in high school, but again, it was just in the car. That's how mine was. Happened. I never like I took never it to class. It, never. No. It was just a brick phone that was in the car. That I remember my dad had one of those bag phones. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, with the buttons on the outside. Oh yeah, it was like the car phone for the person that can't it. afford a car yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the antenna on the back of his car. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah, love it. It was the That's... coolest thing when you got to call from like, oh, we get to call mom from the car phone. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's the great thing about technology, though, is like you know when it comes out, like when the iPhone came out, like holy shit, it's you know it's a phone, but you can do all this other stuff with it too, you know, and then. You know, let's say 20 years from now, we're going to just laugh at these. What we're oh, doing. yeah. You know, we're, this is we laugh at the original iPhone, and it was only 10 years ago. Uh, it's yeah. so weird. I la- it's my so mom weird. has, like, one of the old fives or something like that. They, so they mm-hmm. make, like, you can buy the five body with... The new whatever. operating system, yeah. Yeah, and that's what she has. I'm like, my, I mean, granted, that was a durable phone. That was a good phone. That was a great Nikia phone. Nikia was the gr- most durable phone. That thing was a hockey puck. That thing the was Nikia a hockey phone, puck. The gray one, remember? Yeah. And also, too, that thing I miss about old phones, about these phones. I like buttons. Oh. I like I like the feeling of just, like, yeah. pushing down the I thought button. you were going to say, remember the old Nokia ones? You could swap out the faces. Remember, oh, you can, yeah, yeah. like, if you wanted to change the color or the oh, pattern. Oh, man, yeah. I forgot about what that. Was that, that the the yeah. What was the one that had the blue screen? What was the one with the blue screen with the blue buttons? Do you remember blue that one? Screen I had that with phone, the blue too. Blue buttons. It had a little, little, little antenna on it. 
Um, I went through... Um, Nokia one? It might have been Nokia as well. I thought it was Samsung. I can't remember. It was blue. I remember it was blue. It was, the, really it was really Motorola's hot. Motorola's were huge. Yeah. Even yeah, I remember the chocolate. Do you remember the chocolate one? Oh, yeah. No. It was like a little square one that we slid up. It was the first slide-up phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot we of. We had phones. two cans and a string. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were lucky if you had a phone. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You had pigeon carriers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ask if my friend can go out and play. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, old Southern values, let's talk about some home cooking, aka <laughs> the new game. That's not the new game. Not I new. Talking about new. It's not new game. The game that we're bringing back from the past, Jeff's. Very own the real skinny. Enter I, the theme music that we don't have yet for this game. Thin, you are heavy, but you want to get thin, so you eat all everything to get small. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I got. If, um, if, the real if, skinny. I, if I can redo this now, I would have done all Southern or Kentucky foods or something oh, like that. Awesome. Didn't even think about that until oh, like, right now. What's better? Biscuits and gravy yeah. versus cherry pie. Oh, you dropped Damn. the ball. Damn. Oh, man. Uh, Next time. We, Next time. Can we? Can I put some more uh, lip gloss on? You want to put some lip gloss on? Okay, <laughs> yes. sure. Yeah. Can yeah. We take a Absolutely. Yeah, makeup girl. <laughs> makeup girl. Can I, I need makeup, intern. Makeup. Intern. <laughs> is that, this is. Good. See, this is. You can sit down. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that's right. That's right. All right. Um, um, so, Jeff, what's the theme of the show? Do we have a theme? There's really no theme right now, but just a kind of quick background on the show because we haven't played in a while. Is that I will ask pretty much a multiple choice question to the two guests over here. They're going to have to talk it out and battle. Yeah, you're my guest right now. And um, they're going to have to talk out <laughs> and battle. And then whoever's got the highest points at the end of the game wins. So um, makeup crew is working on Kate right now. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Just take it up. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to like a, a little side note on the, the real skinny. That last time we played this, I can't remember what number it was. It was when Adida was on it. Uh, great yeah. guest, by the way. And it's like 94. It was pro- ten really nice. So it's been at least two months. At least two months. Yes, yeah, I would say. That's about right. Two three months, and <laughs> it was the first I time I won this game. So I'm like one in five, right? You now. are. I'm probably like one in five. I'm not good at this game yeah. because yes. my and this is a great example of my, why I was such a B student my whole life, except college. I was an A student because I was stud. But like my whole <laughs> life, I was B student. Um, my logic always got in the way. It's like my logic doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm it's so like, smart, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's like this. My, my, I have this practical sense. You ask too many questions, I bet. I, uh, I don't know. You're 20% don't winning. I, I, just, I think I overthink it. You do overthink it. I overthink it. it. I overthink it. <clears throat> That's the challenge of my questions. All right, so, okay, you understand the game? Yeah, yes or no. What's better? Yes or no, what's better? Yeah. Pretty much. Jeff, pretty much first for the question. Most part. We don't really have a theme. No, right? there's no theme. It's, so, it's usually just a bunch of random questions. Sorry. So the real skinny begins with question one. Okay. Number one. Which is better for you? A half a cup of ice cream or three scoops of sorbet? A half of a half a cup of ice cream or, or three. three scoops of sorbet. So the question is now, Kate. See, this is what we're thinking. How much is a scoop? A scoop, I would say, is so. I, I say a scoop is a fourth of a cup. That's my guess. I am. I'm gonna go with. Well, what kind? Mm, Ooh. What kind of ice cream? Just like vanilla. Yeah, yeah, that's too specific. We just. Or does it? Or is it we'll like Ben and Jerry's? Now we're talking ice cream. We got candy pieces. We're in. just going to go vanilla, and the way that this is kind of questioned is is probably a little tricky, but they're pretty oh, much equal answer. scoop for scoop as far as the half cup to the three scoops. I got the answer. All right. I'm going with ice cream. Okay. Why? Because of the sugar co- content in the sorbet. I am going I with the sorbet for the complete same reason. I think there's more sugar in ice cream. Ooh. So I feel that there's more fat in the, the dairy and more, sh- and more sugar in ice cream. And plus, I've always was told that gelato is better than ice cream. So why can't sorbet be better than ice cream? So I'm going with sorbet for the same reason. I would reasons. eat the sorbet. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one would you rather have? Sorbet. I would rather ice cream. I'd rather have the, I'd rather Sorbet? All day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, the, what the hell is the difference? Uh, sorbet is 
like more fruity and it's lighter. It's not. All like I know is like the colorful cream. rainbow looking thing. It's yeah, stupid. That's not ice cream's sorbet. better. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll fix this. <laughs> yeah, right. The ice cream and gelato <laughs> argument's a different one, but sorbet, right. there's no contest. Ice Got cream it. all the way. But between gelato and ice cream, we that's that's more of a debate. Yeah, sure. So I'm going uh, with uh, sorbet as the healthier option. And the winner <clears throat> is Miss Adam. <laughs> Off to a start. I knew it. I want to know why now. Sorbet contains twice the amount of sugar with none of the filling of dairy from the filling from the dairy protein and fat. See, I feel that sorbet was lighter. It's like it's like icier. It's like more watery. It is, but but there's so much sugar. Both sugar from the fruit because it has a high fruit content. Oh, the the fruit was the giveaway. The fruit was the kicker. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kate is up one zero. Question number two. Number two. How many gallons of blood does your heart pump every single day? Oh. In a day? We got a liter question. We got we got we got a liquid a, a weight and liquid question. How many gallons of blood does your pump every single day? Is it five hundred gallons? How many gallons? Twelve hundred gallons. It's a lot of gallons. Or two thousand gallons. Okay, it's a lot of gallons already. This is way below. If you just gave me like a straight up guess, I'd be way below already. I should, all give, I should have given you like a seven. Yeah, you should give me a yeah. <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> two. How much blood is in the human body? I know it's getting. It's not really more, but that's just scientific. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's cheating, though. Yeah, no, I'm not, no, I'm just thinking out loud. It's part of the game. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't need answers. I'm just thinking. This is how I think. How many gallons of blood does your pump, your heart pump every single day? Let's do the answer. The qu- 500, 500, 500, 1,200, 12. or 2,000. Okay, 5, 12, 2,000. Okay. Take in the middle, 12. Okay. Why? Because I, I have no fucking <laughs> <laughs> You're going to, I'm going to go. You know, I always feel low. Right, I felt this was low. So, but the options you gave me were really high, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go with two thousand because I'm gonna go just really big because I was so off. The game, so why not go with the higher option? And you figure about the human body, how much how much liquid weight we have in blood, which is you know also water too. That that's gonna add up. We have water weight. We have, we're made up eighty percent water. That's science. I learned that in third grade science. Okay. 73% water. 73%? Yeah. Okay. Well, I saw it today, actually, when I was doing my okay. research. I, I was, well, the Fact food pyramid the changed. Spot. I was told 80. Fake news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been owned. Um, I'm going 2,000. So the, middle, you, just to clarify, Kate goes to 1,200. I'm going 2,000. How much is my heart pumping? The average heart pumps 2,000 gallons. <laughs> I'm on my heart pumping with the, with winning right now. Yeah, yours goes like seven thousand a day. <laughs> <laughs> well said. You need to, to chill. <laughs> Before uh, this is a little segue, a little segue from the show. Um, we didn't really explain this though. Uh, that why we were in Wisconsin, oh, yeah. why we got the beer, oh, yeah. all the meat and cheese. We didn't really explain this, and we're talking about the heart pumping right now. We um, why and why we're playing the real skinny right now. Uh, we were in Wisconsin last weekend, in Milwaukee specifically. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Uh, to run the half marathon. And yeah. I felt this would be a perfect time to play the real skinny because... Oh, no, we should have brought our medals. Uh, Missed opportunity. Yeah, last time, uh, yeah. over a year ago, we uh, when I ran my first half marathon, we, we shot the show the day after the half marathon, had our medals on, everything yeah. was great. But uh, We should be eating cheese and sausage and wearing our medals Duh. right now. Like a true Wisconsiner. Can we just reshoot? Just re- just <laughs> <laughs> I have to give it up to Wisconsin. Very pretty state. Very pretty state. It is very, very nice. Pretty. I like yeah. That was my Real second hilly. favorite half marathon. Real yeah. hilly. Yeah. Two, hilly. There was two hills. Two hills that pissed me off. That's it. Just two hills. Oh, look at that face. That's like... <laughs> I was like, shut up. You were running slow because you were running with your girlfriend. I was actually trucking when I was sick. With, I was sick with a bum foot, and I finished faster than you, you lazy ass. That's what I heard. I do like our first three miles because our first mile minute was like 9.40, and you're like, oh, this is good pace, good pace. And the next one was like 9.30. You're like, okay, this is good. And then there was like 9.15. You're like, this is faster than I normally train. This is faster than I normally train. I was like, all right, we'll slow it back the down. The blood's pumping at 2,000. Yeah, the blood's at 2,000. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this, I was like this, is, this is my top. This is faster. This is faster. This is really rare for me. But I'm not. Yeah. I'm not liking it. It was funny. <laughs> Good stuff. That was a great run. It was All a great right. run, and it was my second favorite half marathon in terms of. Um, I like the path. One. Yeah, the third one. Oh, okay. The third one. Yeah. Um, and also I did a 15k as well. So, I, yeah. Yeah. but um, <laughs> it was just nice to be outside of the city for a run and yeah. just different environments. That was what I liked the most. It was a cool is, run. 
Yeah. I've done really so many downtown here that I was so almost getting sick of it, yeah. and so it was nice to see like just different parts. Yeah, it's a good run. Yeah. All right, so just that was the uh, the reasoning. So the competition. We are at a tie at one one. Jeff, what do you got for question three of the okay. real skinny? Which is better for you, a low fat cookie mm-hmm. or dark chocolate? Dark chocolate, done. A um, low fat cookie. Dark chocolate. I am one hundred percent with dark, Kate. Red. Dark on chocolate. This. I'm with oh, dark chocolate. Um, because fat is necessarily not bad for you. That's my reasoning. And fat what are is they not, using to make it low fat? I am saying dark chocolate because there actually are some good benefits with chocolate. And also, dark chocolate is better than for you than milk chocolate or white chocolate for that matter. So I am going, I agree with our guest. <laughs> dark chocolate, and it's also the sexy chocolate too. Nice. No one's listening to this. Okay, let's go. Dark chocolate. Clean sweep. I thought I would get you with the low fatness, no. but you yeah. guys are both right. You really tried too. You really you gave me. I did. I did. I, and did. I got your number, dude. It's it. So the answer is fat-free cookies tend to be higher in carb, sugar, and fake sugar. Yes. Fake well, sugar. Ooh. That's why, and that's the, oh, it. I can go on a rant. That I'll, I'll, you know, I will go on for a in second. Your, in your defense, Jeff, that or was I'm probably not, like on my rant. one, maybe two of the questions that. Was easy. You're usually like yeah. very. You're you're very, very good with it. That was like the first one that was like. All right, eh, all right. That, but you're usually. I gotta really try good. to trick you guys. All right. <laughs> no, you, you've only like not tricked me like once or twice ever. You usually do trick me. So. All right. How about we this? have a tie score right now, of two two. Question number four. Question four. By the time you reach fifty years old, how many miles would you have walked on average in your lifetime? Fifty years old. How many? <laughs> no, nah, I want to walk five hundred miles. Um, how fifty many years miles? old. 50 how many old. Miles, miles does the average person miles. walk? American. Oh, good it. question. Yes, American. <laughs> four. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. From right. here to American, McDonald's, yeah. Yeah. four miles. And that. And that. <laughs> but if I'm living in like Ethiopia, that's about uh, like yeah. fifteen million yeah. miles. Yeah. yeah. All right, fifty years old. How many average? How many miles have you walked average in your lifetime? 15,000 miles? Okay. 30,000 miles? 75,000 miles? Uh, four? Or 100,000 miles? All right. Real quick. Repeat them. The answers? Yeah, the answer. 15,000 miles, 30,000, 75,000, 100,000. 15, 30, 75, 100. Okay. 15, 30, 75, 100. I'm going with 30. Okay. Why? Why 30? Because the rest of them were even numbers. And oh! <laughs> I love it. No, no, taking it, picking it apart. (laughs) Spin it up. Oh no! No, I got it. The answer now. (laughs) That was the funniest answer I've ever heard yet. Because it's an odd number. (laughs) Oh, I bet you that's the answer. (laughs) Jeff kind of cracked on that. It sounds about right. I don't know. Thirty thousand. That's a lot of miles. That's a lot of miles. Don't take my answer this time. Yeah, (laughs) I don't want to. Three others that you can. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I mean, good at sharing. You say, ah, oh, man, so 15, 30, 75, or 100. But see, here's the problem. It's just, a, yeah, there's a lot of, like, different lifestyles, different countries, a lot of, because, like, you take America, we're just a bunch of bitches here. You know, there's just a bunch of, like, TV Unless watching. on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not stepping. They're just standing still and just shoveling the manure. You clearly <laughs> never worked on a farm. No. They're just riding on their tractors being lazy and they're just standing in place. They're doing nothing on farms because I totally know. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't know him. Sorry, Mom. Um, yeah. I already um, Sorry, Dad. Uh, saved myself from the first statement earlier in this podcast that I wanted to work on a farm. That's true. That's right. Anyhow, so I'm going to go different <laughs> we'll just to be different. Let's go 75. I, I think 100 is a lot for 100,000 miles. You're, but lot. you're saying 40,000 more than what her answer is, too. That's a big difference. So you're trying to trick me right now. I'm just convinced me out of the wrong answer. Eh, done. I'm Cut just. Off. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, I think he's trying to trick me out of my answer right now. But see, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like the average miles you walk in a week, in a month, in a year. I, I don't know. Um, I would take this into consideration, um, at least in my training for this half. I ran almost 150 miles in two months. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, granted, this is 
an extreme, not a normal, not a walking. But so yeah, but your answer was thirty thousand. Yeah, well, I'm still sticking that's with that's twenty nine thousand eight hundred and fifty more. I'm gonna say seventy five. I'm sticking with seventy five. So that's my answer because um, I think if you like you, you run at walk about five miles a day and then you do the times seven and four, then. Go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this is it. I'm gonna 30 say and 75. 30 and 75. Kate, you should have gone with your second guess. It was 75,000. <laughs> Bulldogs. I Let's go, Bulldogs. I thought I figured out. Nope. You got nothing oh, on me. Dang. You got nothing. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, two to one. Oh, two, yeah, you're taking a score. This is question five? No, two to three. Two to three. Oh, no. oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. He scores differently. So it's. No, no, oh. no you're right. Two, three. So this is what question is this? Then? Five. This is five. Okay. So question five, the chance to tie. And if it's tie, we have a tiebreaker question. Wait, is this question five? We yeah, did. we're on question five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which sweet snack has the least amount of calories? Is it a Kit Kat, a Twix, Skittles, or Reese's? This is a great question. Fantastic question. <laughs> Fantastic. I love calories. this question. Which sweet snack has the least amount of calories? Is it a Kit Kat? And we're just talking average sizes here, people. Yeah, it's, it's, I, not, yeah, it's like a king size bullshit going on. All which right. sweet snack has the least amount of calories? A Kit Kat, a Twix, Skittles, or Reese's? I got my answer. Go with Kit Kat. Damn it! That's what I was gonna pick. I can't do that on the last dance. Let's do no, 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 no! I was gonna pick Kit Kat. You yeah. gotta go different. You're clearly a younger brother. I'm clearly the older sibling. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, he's an only child, child. It's child. clear. You? Even worse. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are independent and beautiful. Yeah. Or needy and <laughs> whoa, obnoxious. Whoa. It's definitely not Twix. It's definitely not Skittles. What's the third one? Reese's. That could be. It was a kit. Butter? It's got to be between not Reese's and Kit. Kit Kat, Twix, it's gotta be Kit Kat. Skittles, Reese's. It's got to be Kit Kat. But I can't, I can't pick the same for the last question. I can't pick the last thing. Kit Kat, I feel, because it's not, there's like less in there. It's very wafery. It's very hollow. It's very, it's very empty. But this right? is not about, sorry. Well, what's your answer? That. What's your answer? I mean, you know, I mean, like, what, what's Why? your reasoning? What's your reasoning? Yeah. My, well, my reasoning is because it has a wafer. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking Twix, but then it's got the caramel yeah. and the chocolate. So maybe not. Um, I, my second guess would be, Reese's, but that peanut butter is, you know, it's pretty No sugar. Skittles. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going, no, I'm going to go Skittles. I'm not, not because you just said that. I'm going Skittles because it's the only not chocolatey one. Yeah, may have true. a lot of, may, may, I don't know about calories. It's the non chocolate. So much sugar, but like a lot of sugar, but we're talking about calories, not, be, not sugar. Yeah. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go Skittles. You might. Just to, I, honestly, my initial thought was Kit Kat. Here's the award. You so I'm going to say, I'm going to go Skittles. Would you like to change your answer at all? Well, no, because I can't tie. I'm going with Skittles because it's the non-chocolate it. answer, and it's not like it's not breaded like a like a wafer. It's just pure sugar, and it's not necessarily calories, just pure sugar. So yeah, I'm going it's Skittles. It's a lot of empty calories. He's probably right. It's fine. I'll take my defeat. <laughs> so the lowest calories is 220 calories. By the way, is break me off a piece of that. Yeah! <laughs> See, that was my initial <laughs> scene as the initial, but I had to go different. I had to go different. Yes. That's so, it, so the, because of the waferiness, right? Like, there's yeah. not much in there. It's right? just lighter, yeah. It's just, okay. Oh. Yes, is Skittles the worst? Do you know the worst? I don't have the worst, no. Okay. All right, so we got a tiebreaker round now. We're tied. Five rounds. We're tied. So oh, we need man. a tiebreaker question. All right, let me find a good one. We got to pick good. different. And I get to pick first this time. Oh. You pick first, like, every time. Because I'm the guest. <laughs> Okay. And the girl, ladies first. You have no manners. You are such a Kentuckian, like by your Jeez, rules and manners. Louise, okay, you go first. Social graces. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Boo dogs. <laughs> All right, we'll go with this one. It's a little different. It's only it's a it's a fifty fifty answer. Okay, but I think it's kind of interesting. Okay. Which food is better for your heart? Ooh. I'll go with the hearts again. Okay. Chicken breast, okay, or extra lean ground beef. Great question. Ooh. Great. <laughs> for your question. heart. Which food is better for your heart? Chicken breast or extra lean ground beef? Well, first and foremost, You're in my training. Vegetarian, this come on. Yeah, we never really get into <laughs> that. You know, Kit Kats. 
<laughs> Don't throw that at me. Don't Kit throw that at me. Kit Kat's got cats in them. <laughs> nice try. Um, I didn't know. I, we never yeah, got into that about being a vegetarian. Or, or chicken. Um, I, I know. Here's the thing. My thought of this is that both are good for you. You know, they're, they're, I mean, they have a lot of, yeah. in a meat standpoint, yeah, but I mean, they have a lot, if it's natural, it's, 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 they're both perfectly fine for you, mm-hmm. um, health wise. And it can be very uh, beneficial to you too, if you're in a workout schedule or whatnot. Uh, I'm going ground beef. That's good. Any reason why? No, um, just because here's, here's my reasoning. It's the most. What if you crumpled Kit Kat on the ground beef? <laughs> God, it would be so good. Oh, yeah. um, no, because my roommate just, she's training for the marathon, super healthy eater, but she eats a lot of chicken, a lot of salmon, a lot of eggs, and she has high cholesterol. So I'm going with the beef. I'm going to go chicken just to be it's different. Crackpot. It's nothing. But chicken. Um, like in a hundred years, became uh, America's favorite. Uh, you know, surpassed meat in terms of uh, consumption. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always hear, you know, for any type of workout, you hear more of you need proteins. Eat chicken, um, chicken salad is what it may be. Pongo. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, Guest I'm going right. chicken. Um, and I, you know, I mean, I know that red meat's not bad for you, but it's, I mean, everyone says, but it's lean, it's healthy, but you're I'm going to, and you're, you're standing by it. Yeah. You're I'm gonna say, I'm, I, I think, I think yeah. chicken, I'm going to stay with, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm going to come comfortable with that. So chicken, me, gr- uh, lean ground beef for Kate. Yep. The winner is for the tie breaking round. And the winner of the real skinny. God, I hope I win. This one has quote, lower in cholesterol. Someone already said that. <gasps> Extra lean ground beef. Yeah! <laughs> oh, great job. Here, can I have five? Come on. Runner. Extra yes. lean ground beef is lower in co- cholesterol than chicken breast. Plus, it has more B12, iron, zinc, which boosts your energy and keeps your heart healthy and protects you from heart Another disease. Another yeah. great example of not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who you know. Thanks, Ellen. Very good. Congratulations on the win. I'm Thank still, you. I, I'm Thank still you. savor that one win even yeah. more now. <laughs> Just still there. Never been great at this game, <laughs> but I think I have good reasoning in a way, or it's a reasoning at least. Good questions this one. Thanks. Except for the dark w- chocolate one, that was so easy. I, w- I wish <laughs> I would have done the Kentucky versus like Chicago foods or something like that. Oh, next time it. you're on, no, next Mid- time you're on, we'll Southern do it. Southern foods versus Midwest uh, foods. Maybe, maybe next time you're on, we'll just play two games. We'll do, we'll do Swagger D Bag because you want to play. Yeah, it. yeah. And then we'll do the real skinny Kentucky version. Yeah. Who there cares about me? Let's just play games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got to know you already. Yep. But the next episode, we'll talk about why you're a vegetarian and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, but we yeah, talked a lot about the dance bad. stuff, which yeah. I found was very interesting and insightful and very fun. But a lot more to know. It is now time to rate the beer. Oh. Who is up? Jeff? You, you are up. I'm up? Okay. Ah, well, Wisconsin's very finest, Sprecher. We have uh, the mad scientist himself. Also, the other thing we must know, why you don't watch movies. Another thing we have. So yeah. you're a vegetarian. You don't watch movies. We didn't get to cover that. But we need to cover that. really the worst. No, you're not worst. <laughs> I just, you know, I have my weird things too, which is like everything. So it's all good. Um, Sprecher. We have uh, Albert Einstein, uh, Dr. Frankenstein himself on here. Um, a Black Bavarian style lager. Don't have this very often on the show. Um, I already gave a description in the beginning. Very approachable. It's not too powerful uh, with the flavor. It's, it has the, the, the elements, the flavor of like a style of uh, a port and um, a stout. But it actually has this like nice refreshing wash down effect like a lager does. So this is a solid beer. I'm going to have 3.25. Nice. And then uh, how we do our scores is like one, one through five, but like by quarter. So like 3.25, five, uh, or 4.75, et cetera. Five being the best beer you've ever had. Zero being the worst beer you've ever had. Cool. Um, well, I don't have as many words for this fine. <laughs> this tastes fine. like just beer. Go by, <laughs> just go by instincts. <laughs> That's right. I it's, like drinking beer out of a mason jar. <laughs> yeah. And it's I liquid like and gives me a little tingly feeling yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> makes me giggle. Yeah, it makes me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the name of my first horse, Giggles. 
<laughs> no, it's cash, actually. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Well, that's a good name for us. Um, yeah, no, uh, I enjoy a good stout. Uh, I feel this is a very crushable stout, Ooh, if you will. Crushable. Yeah. I like, um, uh, I like to drink, and I like to drink mm-hmm. a couple at a time. Yeah. Uh, and I can yeah. do that with this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it, I would, I would definitely get this again. Yeah. I'm going to do <laughs> a... 4.2. Whoa. Yeah. In the I fours. Like I no, love it. You I like this beer, huh? Yeah. All right. Especially moving into winter. It's a good Yeah. Beer. Okay. This is a good fall. Yeah. yeah. It's it like is a good fall beer. into the heavier stout season, yeah. heavier beers. That's very yeah. good. Uh, very good assessment. Yeah. I like that. Thanks. I really like this too, only because it's not like a stout style. It's got that lager style. So it's a lighter beer, but yeah. still mm-hmm. tastes like a stout. So it, it just, it goes down really, really smooth. It's very fun. Um, it's a little dry in the back end. Like after you keep drinking, it, mm-hmm. it's Agreed. a little dry. But I love like the chocolate taste. I love the caramel taste. I'm gonna give this a three point five. Beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good scores. Good scores. Good beer. Mm-hmm. Good guest. Good game. Yeah, it was a good show. Let's wrap this up, shall we? We Ladies all and hold hands. If you if you want to end up the show differently, <laughs> this is how we get it. Just <laughs> where we turn off the light and light candles <laughs> <Yeah>. and. Uh, <laughs> Think this is a Broadway show, so we have to. Use it. it was fun, fun, fun. Oh. Jazz hands. Um, no, I'm gonna really wrap it up this time. Not for him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching episode 101 of A Brew with You. I have been one of your hosts, Big Deal Blake. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, but most importantly, patreoncom Blake to just support the show, equipment. Uh, subscriptions, um, uh, hopefully a new rental space for a studio that I'm yeah. looking at right now that could help a long way. Yep. Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> um, Jeff, where can the lovely people find you? Um, they can find me on Twitter. They can find me on Instagram. Chicago Grind. The Chicago Grind. Um, I actually just posted something a couple days ago and just a little article on the Chicago Grind as well. Um, I'm doing a charity event called the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. It's a motorcycle ride in Chicago. Um, the benefits go toward men's prostate cancer and thank mental you for health. This. Yes. And uh, thank you for donating, Blake. And you gotta uh, sing. It's awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So what we do is there's right now there's 450 motorcyclists in Chicago that are meeting in the West Loop, and they shut down the street for us. We ride like 15 miles through Chicago, don't stop at stop signs, don't stop at lights, and they shut it all down for us, and everyone raises as much money as they can, and all the money goes towards mental health for men and prostate cancer. So Fantastic. Um, please go to my page. You can check it out. It's on, on Twitter, right? Twitter, it's on thechicagogrind.com, it's on Facebook. Please, like, throw throw a buck. Just throw a buck. My goal is two hundred dollars. I'm halfway there. Throw a buck to him. Throw a buck to me. That's all yeah. we're asking. A buck that way. A buck this way. There you two go. dollars. Come on, people. Let's do it. Come on. This is like, come on, come on. Two bucks. Two bucks. Um, Kate, do you have anything to plug? Any shows? Any um, Twitter, uh, Instagram? Anything you would like the 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 lovely people to see, or you know, just. Or like a horse website that you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to ArlingtonPark.com. <laughs> no, screw that place. Whoa! <laughs> throw it down, Arlington. Oh. They think that they're better than Churchill. They're not. Oh, they're not. Take that, Arlington. Bring it. No church. Bring it. Battle of the racetrack. Yeah, you're they're taking you take an Arlington to people. church. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, no, nah, no, I no? don't. I, love I it. mean, all my shit's private. I love it. I'm, yeah. This is you get. But it's so finger. funny because yeah. you're such a you have a very extrovert personality. You're yeah. very um, approachable. You're very outgoing. You're very sociable. So it's uh, interesting you have all your social media private. But that's great. I it think is great. It's like. Uh, yeah, I'm like that way to the people who give a, sh- give a shit, you know, give a yeah. damn. I like that. So. Well, she probably can't get on social media because her phone will bleed <laughs> or her fingers will bleed. It's crying. Yeah. She's like, ow, ow, are just ow. Digital tears. Yeah. 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 She's like, I just can't do it anymore. Yeah. I love it. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure, Kate. I, um, it's been uh, a while, and I'm happy that uh, after this time we got to know you. So, like, we've hung out several times, and a lot of, uh, you know, we went on a half marathon together, and a lot of, uh, you know, your uh, Kentucky Derby party, but I didn't really get to know you. So, it's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. and I got to know a little about, about Kentucky and dancing, and yeah. it's been great. I really, really it's been good. It. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, thank you, everybody, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and telling a friend. And remember, the next one is on Kentucky. Bye bye, yeah. everybody. See ya.